Well, good morning, everyone. We made it through another week. It's Friday. I hope that you are looking forward to a great weekend. I know that I am. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday, the Passion Week of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, we're going to celebrate uh, the Palm Sunday together, and I hope that you'll come out. Uh, it's the last week that we'll have the majority of our winter residents actually with us. They've been in, a, in attendance in person the last several weeks, and this coming Sunday may be their last week with us. And so I want to encourage you, if you uh, want to connect with any of our winter residents, uh, this may be your last Sunday to do so. And so I want to encourage you with that before they leave town, and we won't see them again until next year. And so make good use of this Sunday. Come out, worship the Lord Jesus, and also see winter residents. Uh, Romans chapter number 16 uh, Paul is wrapping up the the letter to the Romans and and in the first couple of verses that I that, that are in this set of four that are isolated um, in verse number 17 he tells them to just steer clear of people that are divisive people that are uh, that are complaining people that that come up with reasons to to make the church weaker um, watch out for those kind of people just just stay away from them and uh, what he does say, in the next in the next pair of verses, verse number nineteen. Look what he says. This is where um, where we may have the biggest difficulty. Look what he says is, for your obedience has come abroad unto all men. I, I am glad therefore on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil, and that the God of peace shall bring, uh, shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, amen. And so uh, verse number 19 says, hey, I want you to be very wise to everything good and very simple or, or kind of dumb, so to speak, to those things which are wicked towards sin, uh, towards evil. And I think that sometimes the roles are a little reversed. We, we make buffer zones where, where, well, this is probably okay with the Lord. And so we don't necessarily strive for total innocence. We're actually looking for how close to evil can we get without sinning. I don't know if anybody's ever asked you that question. Well, how far is too far? How close can I get without actually sinning to whatever it is? Um, whether it be uh, in drinking, how close can I get to drunk without being drunk and sin? How close can I get to immorality without immorality actually taking place? We're always looking for that. I don't know, that blurry part of the line, and we like to live there in the movies we watch, the way we entertain ourselves. How little can I worship the Lord and still be considered worshiping the Lord? We're always looking for the, the shortcut instead of being really wise to the good stuff and very innocent or ignorant of evil. And so I want to encourage you with that this morning. You want to have a great day. Learn to be very wise to that which God approves and be very simple to the things that he says no to. Don't know a lot about it personally. Uh, and that doesn't mean be ignorant in the, in the way of education. It does mean to be ignorant in participation. And so I want to encourage you with that this morning. Be very careful to guard your heart from wickedness. I don't know what method you're going to use or what area you have to look at to see where you are actually too wise in the area of evil. But let's pull ourselves away from evil and immerse ourselves in God's goodness. And I know that will help you have a great day.